Hi everyone, I'm Amy Xiao, your personal family lawyer, and today we have Dr. Bob Slender here with us.、Uh, today our topic is: What if I don't name anybody? What if I just leave it as it is? I don't do any planning. So the legal answer would be:、um, If you don't do any planning, you don't name anybody to make healthcare decisions for you. The state will decide for you. And the way the state decides it for you is they go down the line. So if you're married, then your spouse, then your children, your parents, your children, basically the next of kin. So who's closest to you? The problem with when the state decides for you is that the state knows nothing about you and your family. And so you could. And then a lot of the times in California, especially, we have a lot of blended families. And so maybe the person who's on paper. Closest to you may not be the one that you want to be making decisions for you,、um, and also it takes a long process. We've actually had a client who、um, the mother was in、um, in the hospital、uh, in a hospital bed, and the daughter was trying to access the medical record, and she couldn't, and she had to file、uh, paperwork in court, and it took her. Three to four months to finally get that ability to access it, simply because our mom didn't have a nomination. So that's the legal perspective. What about the medical perspective? The actual, the clinic. What happens in real practice? Somebody comes in、uh, to the emergency room in, in, and they're unable to communicate effectively.、Uh, then, the, and there is no documentation of what they would want、mm. or not want.、Mm-hmm. The default position is. Full court press.、Mm. Everything is done, regardless of of how much it may be against the principles of that person.、Mm. If if you're a 95 year old with living in a nursing home with a horrible quality of life, and something happens and you stop breathing, your heart stops, and you're brought into the emergency room, and you don't have the documentation to say that you wouldn't want it, CPR is done. Every attempt is made to try to、um, resuscitate and. And the outcome is is usually、um, not what somebody would want. So the default position is usually not the best position. It, if if we can ever have a person who's able to make those decisions on your behalf and somebody that you trust, that's by far the the best way to go. And sometimes things need, decisions need to be made very quickly. And if you Don't have somebody named, like you said, the process can take quite a while. And while that process is underway, which could take days or weeks, you might be lying in the intensive care unit in a in a condition that would be appalling、uh, to you and to everybody else, and no one can do anything about it.、Hmm. So, be proactive. Take take you know, connect contact Amy. Get your get your affairs set up. And if we can be of service and help you understand more of the nuances of of how this whole process works and how to ensure that your wishes are being、um, documented and and communicated,、uh, that would be our pleasure. Thank you so much, Dr. Bob,、sure. for sharing what you just shared.、Um, it's very, very helpful. And so, if you have any other questions, please contact us directly、um, by clicking the link down below. If you contact us, we will give you a gift certificate. So、um, this is a, an incentive to get this important planning done sooner rather than later. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you next time. Okay, don't hit stop. Just I want you to record that ending one more time without the incentive. Okay. Yep, so. Just so we have. Thank you so much for watching the video.、Uh, if you have any questions、uh, or want us to support you, please feel free to click the link down below, and we will respond to you as soon as possible. Thank you.